Animals at the Henry Dorley Zoo are vanishing. Reporter Lindsay Thies is inside the Desert Dome to explain. Lindsay, what's going on? Yeah, well, Jen, Craig, as you can tell, you look around and it is dark around me. It's not nighttime. It's almost five o'clock. Your eyes aren't playing tricks on you. This particular exhibit that features two species of lemur and a tortoise species here at the zoo has been blacked out and it's all to raise awareness about endangered species. I am here with Jesse. You're the curator of reptiles and amphibians and we'll, we'll get to this gal in just a second but but talk to me a little bit about you know why everything's blacked out in these particular animals. You know this exhibit is officially dark and boring right now, yeah. and, but that's what extinction is. It's, uh, it's a really dark subject, and the loss of species diversity is incredibly boring. So we're really trying to make that a point that, you know, once we lose these guys, they're not coming back. Gotcha. And, uh, you know, you want to come to the zoo to see the ring-tailed lemurs? You know what? If they're not around, we're not going to be able to do that. Be able to see them. And you know, uh, while while we have this very beautiful, very active uh, snake in front of us, a couple of folks at home might be going, "Oh my goodness!" But it is really interesting. Um, this snake, tell me what it is. And this is not endangered. This is threatened. This is right on the edge. So before we actually lose this animal and make the example like we have with our ring-tailed lemurs, this is a Madagascan ground boa. And they're threatened with sort of the same things that affect the lemurs. Habitat loss is the number one thing is you know, we keep destroying those rainforests to turn into cropland. And so that makes it a real challenge for these guys to find food and to, to live. Wonderful. Wonderful. You guys are doing so much. Oh, did you hear that? That hiss there? Uh, doing so much to raise awareness. Now, throughout the day, you might have seen several of the species uh, periscoping uh, with the zoo online. We have more information about that and also about the Madagascar Biodiversity Partnership that the zoo is doing when it comes to conservation to be able to make sure that these endangered species don't become extinct and to make sure that uh, my, my python buddy here stays either at that threatened level or maybe even less threatening. And I have to tell you, it's a little, it, it might look a little threatening, not too bad. Jen, Craig, we're going to send it back to you. Lindsay Thies is very trusting and getting nervous just sitting here. Coming